Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, Jeremy here, and the lighting kind of sucks. Sorry, it's kind of weird. I'm out here on my balcony. I just wanted to show the view because it's like golden hour and it looks super nice. But anyway, this next clip comes from the Acquisition Podcast. It's a new YouTube channel that I started with my business partner, Anthony. And in it, we talk about sales and everything that's about sales. And the reason why I wanted to include it on my channel is that I, I truly wholeheartedly believe that sales is one of the best, if not the best things to get into in life as a career. I mean, sales has taught me everything as far as communication and sales got me to where I am today. I mean, sales is what got me here to buy this sick condo with this awesome view. And I truly believe that if more people understand sales or get into sales, it can really impact your life for the better. So enjoy this next clip and please, if you haven't yet, go subscribe to the Acquisition Podcast. We're really trying to blow that up and you know, try to impact a lot of people's lives by the conversations we're having. But anyway, thanks for watching. Check this out. Really where I got, you gotta become a three-dimensional thinker as well. Mm -hmm. Force yourself to become a three-dimensional thinker, right? What I mean by that is- Think in 3D. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> think in 3D, no, yeah. for sure. Yeah. You have to, if you- Be creative. You have to think outside the to. box you, you have these are like intangible things and like you said work on yourself what it what are like i think what you mean by that is like learn some skills right learn some skill sets because people come to me all the time they ask for help and i'm like dude like i can't help you you have to build your own skill set and what, what are some skills people should learn sales sales right you gotta to talk got, to people that's you know the and like one. intangibles like you know when you talk to someone give them a firm handshake look them in the eye you know and don't give right. them like some of this stuff right absolutely but absolutely. um i think you know and we're coming up on the one hour mark now but i think going off of that let's end like what would be your best advice someone who's young maybe like they're 18 they don't know if they want to go to college or maybe they're fresh out of college they don't know what to do someone's like in that mindset what's some good advice do you have for them man you've asked me this before yeah you know yeah. um i'm gonna just straight to i'm just gonna be straight honest like if you don't know what you want to do you should probably join the damn military they'll put some instill some uh mm -hmm. some obedience in you mm -hmm. marine corps will at least mm -hmm. and you should probably develop that first like you not necessarily the military but you need to like go through something if you haven't been through anything hard in your life trauma. or tough or trauma or something, you need to get that and you get that fast and you get some grit because a grit. lot of I love you, that. you need to get it because if you don't, I guys, I take over, I destroy people that don't have grit. I really do. That's why I'm, that's why I'm successful. So you need to get that. You need to, you need to be able to stand against somebody and think like, I'm going to war, like I'm going to battle. I'm going to destroy these people right you got to have that mentality so you need to put yourself in some in some uncomfortable situations and get good at sales go door to door whatever it is that's going to allow you to get grit and get good at something get uncomfortable absolutely oh, yeah. get uncomfortable you have to yeah. you just have to. yeah going off that like he said you know usually people who experience trauma early in their childhood it, it you know like i'm sorry to say it, but trauma builds character and um uh, that's how you build grit basically you know you do things that you don't want to do you get in situations that suck and then like you're in a situation you're like yeah, fuck this and like from there it's a situation do i want to get out of it or do i just linger you know right. and then the true entrepreneurs the true winners they're the ones that say you know what i don't want to be in this position ever again in my life i'm going to do whatever it takes to get out of this um but you know the question that i ask you what advice do you have some people for some people who are kind of lost um we'll end it like i I'll say my advice too is just like get uncomfortable, get outside your comfort zone, do things that, you know, make you uncomfortable. If, if you're scared to speak to people, if you have like social anxiety, get a sales job. You know, we're sales guys, so we're super biased, but sales teaches you so many other sub skills, like how to talk to people, you know, the intangibles, like if someone gets in the room, get up from your seat, shake their hand or smile at someone, you know, or don't look at your watch every five minutes when you're talking to someone because that's rude, you know, sales teaches you all these little small things that most people overlook. And I feel like once you master that, you really know how to communicate with others. And essentially, that's what sales is, is communication, right? Yeah, absolutely. And